hello friends in this video i am going to discuss canto 3 of uh, wrap of the log by alexander pop i'll discuss line by line explanation so let's begin canto 3 the lines goes like this close by those meads forever crowned with flowers when thames with pride services rising towers and there stands a structure of majestic fame of uh, which from neighboring hampton's deck its name her britain her britain statesman of the fall of uh, fordom of uh, foreign tyrants of nymphs at home and here thou great anna from three realms obey thus sometimes counsel take and sometimes tea so here in this canto is about uh, description of the card games ombre will discuss that and uh, so he he pop uh, make a glimpse of his society mockery of aristocratic style of living and uh, here on this line the difficult meaning of difficult words meets mean meadows and uh, hampton court is discussed they are and majestic fame the building of that Hampton Court that she arrived there for social gathering the aristocratic people gather there tyrants mean fight names beautiful woman Belinda Anna she is the queen of uh, she was the queen of uh, England and uh, we'll see date so she here in this canto belinda reached the uh, hampton court to attend the social gathering and uh, okay and we'll see the uh, important discussion is there mockery on court life their trivility of court light and sometimes grand affair and sometimes trivial things uh like cup of tea and things like that so mockery has been achieved in this way so next lines hither the heroes and nymphs resort to test a while the present of a god in various talks the instructive hours they pass who give a ball or paid the visit last one speaks the glory of british queen and one describes a charming indian screen a third interpret motions look and eyes at every word a reputation dies snuff or the fans supply each pause of chat with singing la laughing ogling and all that meanwhile declining from noon of noon of day the sun obliquely shoots his burning ray the hungry judges soon the sentence sigh so her description of the hampton court has been given there and uh, trivility of court life has been discussed there and uh, okay and she gathered there for a party a ball a social gathering of aristocratic people and uh, so here uh, here charming indian screens refers to uh, eastern countries and reputation dies means nothing important is going on trivial commonplace enough refers to uh, tobacco or powder like substance and uh, slant obliquely shoots his burning ray in slanting titles so this is uh, a very brief description of the hampton court that uh, what are the activities the people they're doing there okay we'll see with singing laughing ongoing and that meanwhile uh meanwhile declining from noon of day the sun obliquely the hungry judges soon the uh, soon the sentence sigh and wretches hang that jury men may dine the merchant from the exchange returns in peace and the long labors of toilet cease palinda navum thrust of famine white so here the trivility of court life has been discussed there the judge are the important judges there as they have to take important decisions but they take it very lightly and uh, they were they were eager about to 
the tech tea and uh, about their okay but they are not care about the sentencing death or things like that and they does just care about uh, their food <laughs> okay which is a trivial thing and about their dine so they were eager to have their dine not of uh, their duty and uh, so her hung sir hungry so here also been discussed that belinda's thrust for fame this means that her she is she is seeking validation her hungry for appreciation of her beauty and we'll see that the next line buns to encounter two adventurous knights at ombre at ombre singly to decide her doom and swells her breast with conquest yet to come straight the three bands prepare in arms to join each band the number of secret nine as soon as she spreads her hand the aerial guard descend and sit on each important card first aerial perch upon a meta door then each according to ring the bow for sylphs yet mindful of their ancient race and when women wonder fond of place so here description of the card game ombre has been discussed there there are three people belinda one knight and baron lord baron they were playing this card game and uh, so uh, this is in in this canto there is a detailed description of each and every card and palinda has been described as a master of this game she is uh, very proficient in this game and she is quite confident about herself and uh, he saw that the playing of a card game uh, is regarded or compared to a battlefield and secret nine refers to there are nine cards and uh, <clears throat> ariel was guarding belinda even in that card game helping her and uh, metado is name of a card okay if you are familiar with cards you know that and uh, ancient race refers to guard the card games according to their position and ranks and we'll see in the next line behold four kings in majesties revered with hoary whiskers and forky beard and four fair queens whose hands sustain a flower expressive emblem of their sofer power four knaves in grips succinct a trusty band caps on their heads and halberds in their hand and pet party collar troops a shining train draw forth to combat on velvet plain the skillful nymphs revive her force with care let sped be trimmed she said and trimmed they were so in this line we'll see there the, the playing of this card game ombre it has been compared with a battlefield uh, that uh, so as uh, the kings and queens picture on the card has been uh, compared to real kings and queens here the kings refers to kings picture on card and queens also refer to queens picture on card games so don't get confused about that so this is the description of the cards that uh, white uh, hoary whiskers means white mustaches for beer mean the king on the card description of and the queen description is also given there and uh, we'll move on to next line the skillful name review her force with care let spades be trimmed let spades be trimmed she said and trimmed they were now move to war her several matadors in shore like leaders of swarthy moors spadilodo spadilaw first unconquerable lord let off to captive 
trumps and swept the pot as many more manly of force to yield and march victor from warden field him busto followed but his fate more hard gain but uh, one trim but one flabian god so skillful names refer to belinda she is very good at this game and spadlo is belinda's god and sable matadors the dark cards the mors refers to african the black color of spadlo spadlo and uh, belinda's card this is the shape of that king her card this is description of her card that she has got a queen of spades this is picture of that king of clubs and then queen of diamonds and king of heart and the uh, baron cards are queen of spades king of diamonds queen of diamonds and jack of diamonds and a of heart and the uh, here we can see that uh, march victor mean the victory victorious they uh, they march in a battle field like they enter in the field of the game and uh, they uh, they are playing and uh, bust of another name of card as well bust of fly so uh, the game has been person the cards have been personified that they they did different things and uh, they were given the qualities of living things personified you can say and uh, trump and one plebian card so plebian card is a card with little value a minor card you can say with his broad saber next a chief in years the hoary majesty of spades appear puts forth one many leg to sight reveal the rest his many color drop conceal the ripple nerve that dares his prince engage proves the just victim of his royal rage even mighty pen mighty pen that kings and queens ever through and move down armies in fight of low set chance to war now destitute of aid fall undistinguished by victor spades and here you can see the ita uh, saber next mean a uh, sword saber is a name of sword you know sword you can say and this is again a description of a uh, card of third person the third person was a knight his card was jack of clubs and uh, then spade yes spade another card so what actually happens they are that uh, another card ripple nave the description of card is there ripple nave jack of card is that uh, and uh, this is description of the card of third person the knight and they enter in a battlefield in game and royal rage mean defeat to another card victim of royal rage i mean defeating of one card to another pump another card and uh, move down mean defeat armies in the yeah in the fight of lu so it has been discussed or compare with a real fight of armies <coughs> and we'll see the next line thus far both armies to belinda's yield now to baron fed inclines the field his war like amazon her most invades the imperial consort of the crown of spades the clubs black tyrant first her victim died spite of his haughty mien and harbors pride what boots the regal circle on his head his giant limbs instead unfeltly spread that long behind he he trails his pompous frop and of monarch only gasps the globe so here you can see that uh, they were playing games and now fate turns towards in the favor of baron and uh, 
his war like Amazons. Amazons, you can see a legendary woman that you can see if you watch the movie Diana in the movie. So, if you watch the movie Legendary, uh, what was it? Yes, Wonder Woman, there was Diana. So, there is a story of that Amazons, legendary, very strong woman. And illusion is used there, and uh, so he had a very strong cards uh, like Amazons, Baron cards, and they were inclined, victory inclined towards him. And clubs, club packs mean card, name of card, and how the barbaric arrogance and his he become pride and. Uh, so this make worry Belinda worried about that the Baron is about to win the game what she did and he is pompous the Baron he is showing off that he's about to win and globe is a symbol of power you can say and the next line the Baron now his diamonds ports a space embroider kings who shows but half his face and his refulgent queen with powers combined of broken troops and easy conquest fine clubs diamond hearts in file disorder seen with throngs promiscuous strive the level green thus when dispersed routed army fronts of asia's troops and africa's sable sons with lichen fusion different nations fly in various habits of various die so his diamond means refers to his god and empower king yes man refers to king god god yes uh, the card with a king picture on it and refer can queen yes uh, queen card queen of diamonds so this is description of um, his cards, baron cards, and with songs mean with the crowd. So Belinda's cards scatter uh, their displays, and Belinda is losing confidence. She become anxious, confused, and uh, because bearing him, Baron Lord Baron, he he was about to win, and victory turns to him. And here, Africa Sable Sons here compare. Asia's troop and Africa's troop. Africa's troops black like so spade card is compared to them and various qualities of each card has been discussed there and we'll see the next lines the Pierce battalions disunited fall in heaps on heaps on fat overwhelms them all the knave of diamond triumphs his really arts and wins of shameful chance the queen of hearts at this the blood the virgin's cheeks fortuna forsook a vivid paleness separates over all her look and she sees she sees trembles uh, at approaching ill just in jaws of ruin and codil and now is uh, oft in some Distemper state, no one nice trick depends the general fact. So, Knave of Diamonds means J, uh, cut off the Baron, and uh, uh, Queen of Heart, yes, another, another of his God has been discussed there. Belinda's confidence get lover there she is anxious confused her card gets scatter and uh, she is thinking what to do now uh, because her failure is approaching okay approaching ill mean failure codil mean a trick or chance she waits for that a trick chance to change uh, the game okay and we'll see the next line an ace of hearts steps for the king unseen luck in her hand and mourn his captive queen 
he springs to vengeance with an eager pace and falls like thunder on prostate as nymphs exulting fills with shouts the sky the walls the woods and long canals reply all thoughtless mortals ever blind to fate too soon dejected and too soon elate suddenly these honors shall be snatched away and curse forever this victorious day now what happened fate turns again uh, in the favor of belinda and she got a chance and she got confidence in herself and her ace of heart mean her uh, her god her god of king and he is about to take revenge and to release free his captive queen means another card got victory over that uh, mean to defeat a uh, baron's card and the king of card in belinda's hand wish to take vengeance and defeat and uh, she and uh, now she is about to won the match and she got very happy scream of happiness and now the game turns in the favor of her her happiness was so loud she shout in happiness so, so loud that it was heard by everyone so that uh, so it has been criticized or satire or mock her that we 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 are thoughtless and we become blind to fate and he criticizes on people there uh, that we 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 take life so lightly that uh, one instant we become happy and on another instant uh, we begin to lose confidence okay and it was a victorious day okay of thoughtless mortals yes victorious day uh, so this means that Belinda's got victory in that game. So we are not aware of the fact that the happiness and the victory is not forever and future is uncertain and we have no idea when the happiness turns into grief and victory turns into defeat. The next lines follow the boat with cups and spoons in crown the bar barriers crackle and the mill turns round on shining altars of japan they raise the silver lamp and fiery spirits place from silver spouts the grateful liquors glide and china's earth receives the smoking tide at once they gratify their scent and taste while frequent cups prolong the rich repast straight uh, how far round the fair her airy band so what actually happens uh, in these lines that she got victory and uh, cups so discussion uh, cups have been discussed there because uh, they were served coffee they were served with coffee in cups and uh, coffee beans so various crack barriers crackled mean here it refers to coffee beans have been crushed from turn them to powder to make coffee uh, as coffee was invented first time at that time so it was considered of um, what we say used by aristocratic class high class people and uh, and what happens the table the tables was that of a Japanese made up of Japanese material very expensive and it was shining alta and silver lamp and uh, fear is spirits place mean the glow and uh, the atmosphere of uh, of that place has been discussed after Belinda's got victory and uh, coffee was served to them and china's art mean chinese pot uh, china they were served coffee in chinese pot and hot coffee poured into chinese pot uh, so smoke evolves and it uh, it was it becomes so belinda is able to take a sip of the eat and to gratify pleasure satisfaction so that she she get pledge she get pleasure and satisfaction and move on to
to next lines some as she skipped the fuming liquor fan some uh, over her lap their careful plums display trembling and conscious of fridge pocket coffee which makes the politician wise and see through all things with his half shut eyes uh, sent up sent up in vapors to parents brand new stratagems stratagems the radiant look to gain as sees rush youth uh, desist or tis too late fear their just gods and think of celia's fate change to a bird and send it to flit in air she truly pays for nicest injury here so what actually happened they were after she got victory they were she were offered coffee was served to her and the spirits uh, are helping her to make the coffee called so that she sipped it and uh, lap refers to thigh plums hair refers to wings and uh, okay brow cat means address a rich gown and uh, coffee importance of coffee has been discussed there at the time it was uh, initially introduced and it was consumed by aristocratic class the politicians and important personalities and uh, compare politicians to baron there pop and uh, so here an important allusion is there of uh, a myth is there celia's fate so, so who was celia celia was the daughter of a king nisus and uh, what she did uh, king nisus has a purple lock having magical powers and uh, she she cut her father's um, hair okay and uh, to convert uh, her hair for the sake of her love so he become angry and to king nisus he convert her to a sea bird punishment so change to bird refers to date and she pay for her mistake and her crime okay and we'll see the next line but when to mischief mortals went to their will how soon they find fit instrument to fill just then clarissa drew with tempting grace to edge weapons from her shining case so ladies in romance assist their knights present despairs and arm him from the fight he takes the gift with reverence and a uh, extends the little engine on his fingers ends this just behind belinda's neck he sped he sped over the fragrant streams he bends her head swift to lock a thousand spreads repair a thousand wicks by trans blow back the hair and uh, tries by twitch the diamonds in her ear so the character of clarissa has been introduced there uh, she was not in the actual story but her character has been added in this so what she did the clarissa she offers <coughs> scissor to baron and so that he cut the log so we'll see later on uh, to edge weapons refer to scissor and uh, so here it has been described that uh, uh, when the warriors they prepare for wars their ladies give them weapons to their kings and knights so here the scissor is used as a weapon and which was given to lord baron by clarissa so these things has been related here okay and we'll see the next line uh okay the little engines the little engine on his fingers and this just behind belinda's neck he sped over the fraud streams he bends her head swift to lock a thousand spirits repair a thousand wicks by turn blow back the hair 
and tries to uh, twitch the diamond in her ear tries she looked back and tries the four drew near just in that instant anxious ariel uh, sought the close verses of virgin's thought on the nosca in her breast recline he watched the ideas rising in her mind sudden he revived this part of all her art and earthly lover lurking in her heart so after uh, giving scissor to burn by clarissa so he tried his best to get close to palinda to cut her locks so in this way the sylphs and the spirits act as a barrier to lord baron and they are protecting her and uh, so they blow her her earrings to make her attentive and uh, in this way initially he was not able to get close to belinda so they were anxious and they were, the sylphs they tried their best to protect her and rishis of virgin sort me as pure virgin women uh women uh, are her thoughts pure and uh not a bunch of flowers you can say so at that instant suddenly the ariel he have realized that in heart of palinda there lies a uh, a lover so she is no more pure justice so what happens that after discovering that what is the uh, response of uh, ariel will see a mess confused he found his powers expire resigned to fate with a sigh retire the pair now separates the glittering forex white this enclosed the lock now joined it to divide even then before the fatal engine close a red self to fondly interpose fed at the shears and cut the self into an and every substance will unite again the meeting point the secret here discover from the fair head forever and forever so what happened at so this uh, ariel discovered that she is no more pure justice or she is uh, having a lover in her heart he become amazed and uh, he he decided to give up on his idea of protecting her and his powers expire and he thought that she is no more pure and he give up on belinda's fate and because spirits only protect those people who are pure and uh, the pair refers here the pair refers to baron and forex refer to scissors so baron got a chance and uh, he got successful in cutting the locks of palinda and here it has been told that a rich self a sad self he tries to interpose and uh, he got cut in the way by the scissor but he is a spirit he just unite again repair you know and they are immortal the spirits and uh, the hair these are mean cut from fair head mean fair head refers to belinda's head forever and forever the logs has been cut okay then flashed the living lightings from her eyes and screams of horror her uh, french the offering skies not louder shrieks through pitting heaven are cast when husbands or when laptops spread their last when rich china vessels fall from high glittering dust and painted fragments lie let wreath of dreams now my temples twine the victory creed the glorious prize is mine while fish in streams and birds delight in air or in coach and six the pretty fair as long as atalantis shall be red or shall pillow grace a a lady's bed while visit shall be paid on solemn days when numerous wax lights in bright or the place while names take 
streets and assignations give so long my honor name and praise shall live so after getting victory and uh, become successful in cutting off palenta's hair he's boasting his victory and uh, uh, okay and compare her shakes and her nice to different things to a uh, wind to a widow whose husband so this is the reaction of palinda's that uh, after cutting off her hair has reaction that he felt like widow she cried like a widow whose husband been died and uh, and her noise even penetrated the sky so juxtaposition is there her husband and lap dogs and uh, baron's got victory and uh, he celebrating his victory and glorious uh, he got a glorious prize so gl glorious prize is Belinda's lock and he thought that his this his name become famous as long as fish remain in the stream birds in the air and uh, Atlantis which is important book so he says that his cutting out incident has been become more important even than atlantis and uh, and he still is much stronger okay next lines we will analyze the eight uh what time would spare from steel receives it dead and monuments like men submit to fate Still could the leper of God destroy. So here, after getting victory, the important of steel is the scissor is made from steel. So important of steel has been portrayed that uh, steel can do anything, can destroy anything, and steel is much stronger than time. Okay. And strike to dust the imperial towers of Troy. Still could the work of mortal pride confound and hew triumphal arches to the ground. What wonder then, fair nymph, thy hair should feel the conquering force of unresisted steel. So, what has been there? The illusion is there of tower of uh, illusion to the tower of try and Greeks were uh, Greek were the first that destroy the imperial tower of Troy in trojan wars through the help of that steel and uh, confound okay and he said that uh, steel destroy the pride of mortal steel can do anything steel the scissor can cut uh, your belinda's log and which is very fragile as compared to steel and uh, so Nothing resists on conquering power of steel and Baron told that. So that's all about Canto 3 and in next video we'll discuss Canto 4.